we used to log into some websites and apps. Sometimes we may not want to give our phone number in that website or app. In that case, you can use another number and if you want to receive OTP, you can receive OTP in that number. In this video, we will be telling about that. How to use another number in app or website and get OTP in that number. For this, what you need to do is, you don't need to install any third party application, open any browser. After opening any browser, search for sms24.me. When you are searching for that, you can see a result like this, sms24.me, click on this website. When you are clicking on that website, you can see a page like this. Here you can see many countries, you can select whichever country you want. For example, I am selecting India. When you are selecting your country, you can see so many phone numbers. Select any one of the phone number. For example, I am selecting this phone number. After selecting that phone number, what you need to do is, you need to copy this phone number. After copying that phone number, Open the application or website which you want to log in with this number. For example, I am opening Hotstar. After opening Hotstar, I am trying to sign in. Here you can see MySpace option. Here you can see login option. Click on login. After that, what you need to do is, you need to give phone number. I am pasting that phone number which I have copied. After that, I am clicking next button. When you are clicking on that, you will be asked to enter OTP. To receive OTP, what you need to do is, again go to that website. After that, here you can see refresh this page. Click on this refresh this page. Now here you can see some OTP. You should select your OTP. OTP from so many websites are there here. OTP from IMO, Rush, PayPal, etc. is here. So you should select your OTP from this. But important thing you should keep in mind is that every time you will not get that OTP. Sometimes you need to try again and sometimes you need to change number also. If you are not receiving OTP in this number, what you need to do is go back and after that select different number. After that again enter that number here and apply for OTP. Again what you need to do is you need to refresh this page. If you are trying this for some time, you will get that OTP. So this way you can sign into any apps or websites that require phone number and OTP without using your phone number. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you find it helpful, consider subscribing. See you in the next video.